Carlos with a K coming your way with the sixth episode of Mind in the Box here on the stage, five to go. Mind in the Box, or MIB for short, is a series where we discuss tips to help steel challenge shooters master stages by building your strategy plans that make it easy for you to focus and get your mind in the box when you need it. In this episode, we're going to break down a few of the changes that I made to allow me to grandmaster five to go. Let's watch. These are a few of the tips that helped me move from an A class to a GM class shooter in the rifle and pistol open division. Now when I compete in a match, I shoot for strings between 2.10 and 2.25 seconds each, yielding total times between 8.5 and 9 seconds. That's the target anyway. Usually anything under 10 seconds for this stage is fine for a local match. Now 5 to go or SC101 isn't the fastest stage, but it's the simplest in terms of theory because there's only one practical way to shoot it from left to right. I have tried far to near a few times, but honestly, it's just a few tenths slower on a good day. The most difficult target in this stage is number four, and this is where most experienced shooters set their natural point of aim. Now after that, it's a matter of getting on target number one and transitioning smoothly through the rest. One mistake many new shooters make is to make the swing to the stop plate trigger around and lower the gun. That's fine if you hit it, and it's a 12 inch plate. At seven yards, it looks big, but if you miss it, it's gonna take a few precious seconds to get the gun back on the plate. Never lower your weapon after engaging the stop plate until you confirm a hit. Now the fastest peak time for five to go is nine seconds for the open rimfire divisions which is an average of 2.25 seconds for each of the four runs. The target order for this one is one, two, three, four, then stop. The targets are four 10 inch plates and the stop plate is a 12 inch plate sitting far to the right side of the bay. Not a lot to say on this one. Get on plate one, follow the horizontal transition through the plates from left to right the key to this stage ready? is target number four. Stand by. As the targets get farther back, as the shooter prepares for the quick large transition to the ready? stop plate, four Stand becomes by. an easy miss, which ends up costing us time. Now just because the first four ready? plates are the same size doesn't Stand mean by. they look the same when you're standing in the shooter's box. They require a different sight picture. Plate one visually looks two to three times the size of plate four. It takes a little bit longer to get a solid hit on the further or smaller plate compared to one closer up or bigger. Consider this as you transition the gun and pull the trigger. Now box position. This is a stage where my box position is facing more towards the right side of the stage, focusing on plate number four also a position where I can quickly transfer to the stop plate. On this stage, my right foot's near the rear of the box and my left foot's near the left front of the box. I will make adjustments if I miss or don't like a transition pattern. You have to know what's wrong with the run and be able to adjust accordingly. Usually, I need it just two runs or strings in a row to know if the feeling's off, and that's where I'll make an adjustment. Now I've tried the back of the box, but my favorite box setup currently is a sideways stance facing target number four and the stop plate. Once you shoot plate four, you confirm. If I shoot at a target, I'm assuming it's a hit and I'm moving on. So most of the time, if I miss, I'm going on to the next target unless it's the last target. And then I'll go back to that target to pick it up and quickly make a switch to the stop plate. So what we want to do, because this is such a large transition from four to stop, is we want to drive that transition with the left leg. In this case, you can watch the knee drop as I sweep to that stop plate. To help with this, I like to align the right foot with the stop plate. That way, as I transition, 
Sometimes I remember, sometimes I don't. But as I transition, it reminds me that that's where I'm turning to. And usually it helps. Are you ready? Back to the little things that I personally do. I won't move my feet once I get set in the box unless there's a problem. Stand by. Even if I have to reach to grab my magazines, I keep those feet set. Stand by. It's usually why I have my cart on the line if there's no table, so I have something to set my magazines on. My buddy Lloyd actually brought me a good idea for pistol. He actually purchased magazine belt holders so he doesn't have to move or stretch at all. So far, he said it seems to be working well for him. So thanks, Lloyd. Now, I shoot most divisions from low ready, but I would still use this same stance on my draw on this stage. Well, it's time to wrap up this episode of Mind in the Box. Remember, have a plan, believe you can achieve it, and then get out there and execute. Videos are often the best way to see what you're doing from a third party point of view. Find your weakness and then train to remove them or eliminate the need for them. If you want more of this type of content, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. I gotta keep my mind in the box. Bye, crew.